Hello everyone, I'm back today with another review. Today I have for you the NECA Pacific Rim Series 2 Striker Eureka. Now, in the film, Striker Eureka is the Australian Jaeger, and he is the first and last of the Mark V Jaegers. He is the fastest, strongest Jaeger ever created. Now, a quick little backstory on Striker Eureka. He was launched on November 2nd of 2019. In the film, he was piloted by father and son Hercules and Chuck Hansen. And his first team, I mean his first team, um, his first mission was, was like with a tag team mission with, I forget, what was it? It was with, um, it was with, oh yeah, it was with Gypsy Danger and Horizon Brave in Manila when Manila, when Manila was attacked by the, by Hunden. On the early kaijus. Now he costed a total of a hundred billion dollars to make, so he is an expensive as hell Jaeger. <laughs> now height in the movie he's two hundred fifty feet, weight thousand whatever the hell tons, and yeah he is the fastest strongest Jaeger. Now enough with that. Let's go on to the review. Let's start off with detail. Now I get some focus. He's got some nice detail on his head. Really nice head sculpt. Nice gold paint for his visors. See the 2 02. His chest. His. I really like his back, his own. Now, these wings, they're called the T16 Angel, Angel Wings. And they help him keep aerodynamic balance when he's, you know, fighting and moving through the air and shit. So he has some um, nice detail on his legs, his foot. On the bottom, nice, like, dirty, beat-up look. And very cool. You can see his arms. Really nice. Abdomen. And his legs. Oh, and his fists. Really nice. Okay. There we go. Now, um... One thing I like to point out is that, uh, like, see here, his blades are, like, normal. They're the way they're supposed to be. Well, on the other hand, I took them off because my figure came with a, way came with a flaw. Like, let me just attach these blades. And these blades, they're on, like, little pegs. So they can easily, you can easily attach and detach them. So as you can see, they're incorrect. See how? See how? Yeah, just a little minor flaw. I don't doesn't bug me. I mean, like most of the time, I have them display like without the blade, but I just attach the blade on just for the sake of the review. So yeah, let me get him standing. Oh, articulation. For articulation, his head is on the ball joint, but it's really stiff. He can move around. He he has a hinge at the elbow, at the shoulder. Rotates 360, bends outward over at the shoulder, bends at the elbow. Unfortunately, no swivel or anything like that. And he has a hinged wrist. He has, he does have waist articulation, but on mine, it's really stiff, so it's almost impossible for me to get it moving. So I'm not going to try. His legs go, when they're on the hinge, they go forward and back, bend at the elbow. And he has a ball joint at the foot. A little stiff, but it moves. So yeah, articulation is yeah fairly simple, but it's good. Not that bad. So yeah. Now his shoulders are... Oh, sorry about that. His shoulders are pretty loose. I mean, like, I did put nail polish to stiffen them up, but they're still kind of loose, like... Like, oh wow, it would work for the, for, the, for the review. Well, anyways, his shoulders are loose and they do kind of like come down. But all in all, it's not that bad of a problem. So let me put him aside and let's do a scale. So let me bring over a monster, because in the movie he fights monsters, obviously. And here I have the 64 Godzilla. So he is much taller. Scale-wise, I think this is more, I think this would be more or less correct, because 64 Godzilla, 
that he's 50, 60 meters. Whereas him, he's like, he's 250 feet. I don't, I think that's like 70 ish meters around there, something like that. So I think the scale works more or less okay. Put that aside. Now, and I don't have any other robots related to Kaiju, so I'm gonna bring over my Transformers Prime Megatron. Let's see. Definitely not in scale, but what the hell. Bring him over here. So yeah, uh, final thoughts. He is a really, really cool figure. I absolutely love the design for Striker Eureka. Um, he, I got him at at this store called Geeky Mamas for twenty seven dollars. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, that's it for my review of the NECA Pacific Rim Striker Eureka. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.